one in five people have or will have had some type of mental illness. And mental illness is so broad. It's anxiety, it's results from bullying, and you know what, it could lead to, it could be the smallest thing and it could lead to the most serious outcome. So we've seen a 23% increase in demand for mental health and addiction services in Burlington. Uh, so that tells you the percent of our population that needs assistance. Joseph Brandt Hospital has been working towards redeveloping the mental health program for years. Michael and Laura Paletta have made a $5 million donation, kicking off the redevelopment with the new For All Minds campaign. So the goal is $20 million, uh, so this certainly gives us an incredible start to that, and what we know is that we've seen great enthusiasm from our community and have full faith that everyone's going to come together and, and help us reach our goal. The new inpatient rooms will be private and include a bathroom. There will also be new therapeutic spaces for group sessions and family visiting. In addition to the existing courtyard, a third floor garden will expand patients' access to green space. What we've designed is a two-level uh, service. Currently, right now, we have one level. Um, so we will have two full units, uh, and they will be both inpatients. Uh, some of our outpatient clinics that are really quite directly aligned with our inpatient community. They're also designing and opening a new child and adolescent day program. Children and adolescents with mental health uh, concerns uh, do better when they can stay at home and receive treatment closer to home. Uh, so we're really excited to be able to offer this. Uh, previously, folks have had to leave our community for that particular access. So it's really exciting for us that we can ensure that the kids from Burlington are being treated in Burlington and that their families can be part of that in a local way. The facilities have never been changed since 1961, since the hospital was built. So we definitely need better facilities, more access to facilities, and more access to support. I think having rooms with, with restrooms and a place where somebody who's going through something like that, you need privacy. And that's one thing that they weren't able to do before, that the, like, the care will always be the same because it's amazing, but it's the space. So when you're struggling with depression, when you're struggling with addiction, when you're struggling with, when you're a parent struggling with a child with addiction, you can't be in a room with four or five other people and expect to have solace and healing. The hospital is looking forward to being able to offer the dignified space to heal right here in our community. We know that for any health, asking folks to travel is not something, it's a burden. Um, and, and we really are very excited to be able to say, you can get care in your own community um, and, and you don't have to plan for a travel to go visit a family member and those sorts of things. So really excited to be able to uh, broaden that scope and offer that access. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.